pick him up. Now, savages will have our hides the way you lumber. Uh, it's Maggot fault. He pushed me too hard to make me stumble. Do not. Do too. Do not. Do too. Scarce. Stop. But I can shoot him. Are you ready to shoot a hundred more? No. sit in the lowest room, that when he that badly cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Luke 14, 10 and 11. for my trouble. Pick up the front. Father! Good day, my sons. You have returned even sooner than I thought. Have you finished the map? We must leave at once. We are being pursued by many of these savages. Then why did you come back here, Captain al -Mutabar? You know why. I refuse to let our gold fall into the wrong hands. And those would, of course, be any hands but your own, Captain. How many men do you have left? None. Then I cannot help you. Need I remind you of your holy obligation to this expedition? You will help us hide this gold, or I will offer you to these savages to buy my freedom. Put it over here. I warned you not to underestimate these people. They will fight as hard for their own land as we will fight for ours. My obligation to this expedition will end, no doubt, giving the last rights to your band of marauders here. Part of the map, and we will swear an oath to meet at Santa Yanez. I must stay here until my work is done. And as for these men, they are forbidden to make an oath to God over gold that has blood on it. And you will swear on the eyes of your children that you and your sons and their sons unto the seventh generation shall serve me and mine until this gold is delivered again unto my family. Swear! I should swear. What was that? He says he swears. Good thing. <laughs> I'll leave first.
O oh God, the Creator, this treasure was taken from its mother, the Earth, and we return it to her now for safekeeping. And may the Earth forever keep it safe, rather than let it fall into evil hands. afternoon, Mr. Duncan. Don't you want to try on the water skis? Me? <laughs> oh, water skis? No. I'll leave all the fancy moves to my nephew, Elder. Get it, Dad! Well, maybe fancy wasn't the right word. <laughs> Poor Elder. Uh, He's been trying all day with no luck. At least he hasn't broken his neck yet. Well, I've always been taught that persistence was more important than skill. Careful, Elden. Yeah, you lower the water level three feet. <laughs> hey, what, Elden? Let me take Scott for another spin around the lake. Then we'll come back and try it again, okay, buddy? Don't worry about it, Elden. We'll catch on sooner or later. Remember, buttercreamers never give up. I'm going to master this water skiing stuff if it's the last thing I do. Normally, I'd say don't hold your breath. But in this case, I think you'd better. No. Never give up, Eli. You can't become good at something if you quit trying. Maybe my problem is there's too many skis. Yeah, let's, let's try this with just one. <laughs> how fast does it go? Yeah, how fast does it go? Fast. <laughs> Ow! Huh. Hey, look what I found. Hey, I think your luck's changing, Mr. Duncan. Yes, I believe we have the genuine article this time. You mean a real Indian arrowhead? Are you sure? Looks like an old rock to me. It is made of stone, Jesse. But you see those grooves? Those are man-made. Time has chipped away at the original shape of this, but it's a real arrowhead. It could be a hundred years old. Three hundred years old, for that matter. Do you know a lot about archaeology? Oh, a bit. But junior high science teachers don't get much training in that sort of thing. Some here who I turned out to be. It's a group of it. Everybody contributes something. Yeah, well, what do I contribute? You make us laugh. That's important. Yeah, I'm the buttercream clown. Frankly, Lanny, I don't think the buttercreamers need a clown. Yeah, we do. I mean, no, we don't. What I mean is that you I know what you mean. Maybe you're right. But just once, I'd like to be the hero instead of it always being Scott. Well, then. Nice of you and your friends to take off an afternoon to help me search, Eli. That's okay, Mr. Duncan. We're the Buttercream Gang. Uh, actually, I know all about that. Did you know how they got their name? Happened in the early days of the town, after a raid killed several of the men. 
Young teenage boys in the town were asked to help the women churn their butter. And there's been a buttercream gang ever since helping people. Now, what exactly are we helping you look for? Me? Well, I wish I knew. Well, it's like I told Eldon, anything out of the ordinary, any object that looks old. Or how about a neon sign that says Spanish conquistador slept here, huh? <laughs> That's what I'd really like to find. I think I found some. I told you, Eldon always comes through. I, I don't know. It's real old and beat up. Yeah. But I think that's Spanish writing on there. I can't tell. I'll have to get my glasses. Good work, Eldon. Yeah? I think you're right, Eldon. This is It's crazy. It's a hundred years at least. What is it? I'm no expert, but I'd say it's a twist cap off of a bottle of Mexican beer. A beer cap? No way. Besides, what do you know about ancient articles? Artifacts, Eldon. <laughs> oh, my. What do you think, Uncle Will? A beer cap. But it was an excellent try, though, Eldon. Hey, look what Scott's found! What? Good find, Scott! What is it? It's a Spanish balloon. The rains must have washed it down from the mountains over the years. Let me see that. <laughs> it's worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars. This is a great find, Scott. Oh, It'll go a long way in perpetuating the myth of a Spanish treasure. Hey, Eldon, where are you going? Cool. Eldon! What happened? Did you fall down and scrape your knee? Uh-huh. Does it hurt? No, don't cry. You'll be all right. Just run back and ask Uncle Will for a Band-Aid. There you go. Thanks, Eldon. So is it real gold? Uh-huh. bear bottle. Maybe then Scott will find the whole treasure. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Just someday I want to do something so that everybody knows it. Stop it. Was... it. Eldon, I think you're already a hero. You're nice, you're funny. Look, my mom always says that real heroes are the ones that help others without their knowing it and without all the praise. I know. My mom says the same thing. Over and over. Thanks, Margaret. You coming down? Nah, I think I'm gonna just stay up here for a while. If the rains wash that coin down, maybe. Mr. Duncan, I think Ellen just got himself into a precarious situation. Precarious? He's gotten himself into a circumstance dependent upon chance, risky, and insecure, uncertain, unwarranted. He's about to do something goofy. What is he, crazy? It's dangerous up there. Yeah, precarious too. Come on, let's get him down. Oh. Eldon, what are you doing? Get down! That's crazy. He's gonna get hurt. Yeah, I know, he's gonna fall. Eldon, what are you doing up there? I had this great idea, see? The coin Scott found must have come from somewhere up here. You're brilliant, huh? Eldon, that cliff face is so soft that if anything was buried up there, it would have fallen in the lake at least a hundred years ago. Oh. Uh, you better come on down before you get hurt. You need some help getting down? No, I got myself up. I'll get myself down. Just stand back. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Eldon! You okay? 
Yeah, sure. Whoa! Oh! oh. oh. Ah. Are you okay, Ellen? Is yeah. anything broken? <coughs> I'm okay. Hey. Hey! Eldon, look at what you found. What did I find? There's something on the stick. No, don't. That looks like an old document. A very old document. If we unwrap it, it could come apart. It could be a map. A treasure map. Or it could be a, a Grateful Dead poster. Grateful Dead. Of course, we won't really know until we unroll it. So what are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it very carefully to the school in town and put it under glass. Eldon, I think you've done very well this time. Why is Mr. Graff selling his home? It's a buyer's market. Mr. Graff should be patient and maximize his equity potential. You are. What? Knock it off. You know, actually, I don't think Mr. Graff wants to sell anything. You know, ever since his heart attack, he hasn't had any money coming in. He's just been forced to sell everything. Everything? Yep, the store, even the property out back. The tree house. That's right. Mr. Graff owns the property. Wow. What do we do? Well, guys, we can always get a new tree house. What's Mr. Graff going to do? <laughs> Will you look at this? <laughs> Mr. Graff, you're not supposed to be here yet. Well, I might have known. I might have known the buttercream gang had come through in a pinch. We're not even finished with everything yet, Mr. Graff. No? Well, it's certainly looking better. I won't have to be embarrassed now when that real estate agent comes by. She's bringing a buyer in from the city. Yeah, we'll show them that we can shine in Little Elk Ridge, too. Thank you, boys. Don, look. Look at this. Hmm. Look at all of these, uh, uh, cute. Yeah, cute, <laughs> cute little boys. Oh, I just, oh, I just want to hug each and every one of them. I mean, they are <laughs> each worry, just, oh, cute, cute, cute. Oh, hey there, big boy. What's your name? Uh, Eldon. Oh, well, Eldon, you get a kiss and a hug from me, huh? <laughs> oh, cute kid. Oh, God. She kissed me. I can't believe she actually kissed me. Relax, kid. She kisses her dog, too. <laughs> dog, dog breath. breath. Oh, come here. You gotta see this. Look at this, uh... Cute? Uh, cute old man. Oh. Well. Doesn't he just, uh... just remind you of my, my poor old daddy? Well, uh, uh... Maybe you'd like to see the backyard. Yes, Sorry. please. <laughs> uh, just right this way. Now watch your step. Step it's got large, has not it? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. oh. oh look at him. No pumpkin. Oh. oh, baby. Hi there. Uh, I'm Don Del Ditto. Hi. Cash flow expert and millionaire, but you know. I like to think of myself as an author. Perhaps you've read my book, How to Make a Million Dollars Overnight with Nothing Down. Huh? Nothing Down? <laughs> nothing Down? You can really make money with Nothing Down. That's right, kid. For just $49.95, you can be rich overnight. Huh? The book, it is $49.95. I thought you said Nothing Down. <laughs> uh, look, kid, if you don't have the money now, when you get it, mail it in and I'll send you the book. I can make $49.95. Easy. Oh, Don. This place has, uh, uh... Termites? Why don't Don. we take a look inside the house? Okay. 
Bye bye, baby. Bye bye. Jimmy. Well, I'd say Mr. Graff is feeling better. I mean, if those two people don't give him another heart attack, nothing will. Hey, Eldon, I don't think that lipstick's your shade. <laughs> you don't think Mr. Graff's actually going to sell to this guy, do you? Well, I don't think he has much choice. Can't we do a fundraiser? Well, this is far beyond bake sales and paper drives. But the best thing we can do is help him fix the place up so we can get a good price for it. We can't just sit around here. We gotta do something. Yeah. Buttercreamers never give up. Any ideas? I know what I can do. Where's he going? Well, I don't know. You guys better go with him, though. I'll finish up here. Know that parts me right now. I just know it's a treasure map. Okay, Elton. No, you don't understand. I, I gotta know right now. Okay. No more excuses, Uncle Will. I know you want to get an expert here first, but I need to know. Did you say okay? Uh, Elton, boys, I'm going to introduce Thomas Ameldivar. Dr. Ameldivar is an archaeologist from Spain. He happens to be an expert on documents on the Spanish conquest. He's in the area doing research. So, you're the young man with the gift for finding ancient documents. Huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I congratulate you. It's hard work, I know. You have to be willing to move mountains. Eldon did that all right. I've asked Dr. Meldovar to try to unroll it for us. Now, if that's okay with you, Eldon. Yeah, sure. Then, shall we begin? Look! Fishy! Silence! Please, pardon the behavior of my associates. You see, their ancestors have served my family for centuries. This is great. For the first time in my life, I'm finally going to do something right. With the money we make, we can save Mr. Graff's house and our tree house. Very interesting. There is very little mold or insect damage. Can you read it? Yes. I think so. What is it? What's it say? Is it a treasure map? I'm sorry to disappoint you, Eldon. I'm afraid it is only a very common farming map used by the Mexican priests. So it's not from the conquistador period? No, no. It's much later, a uh, hundred, hundred fifty years. I'm sorry, Elden. I know you were hoping for something more exciting. Isn't it worth anything? Well, certainly. A document this old is always worth something. You could get maybe fifty, sixty dollars for it from an antique dealer. Is that all? That's not going to help Mr. Graff one bit. Let me help you, Mr. Duncan. I'd be happy to make an offer of, say, $100. I'm sure we can find a place for it at the University of Madrid. Sure. 
I think that'd be great. Uh, no, thank you, sir. I know it's not worth much, but we did find it here in Elkridge. I think we can just put it on display in the school for a while. Very commendable, Alvin. But now I must get back to my work. Thank you for helping us. Not at all. My pleasure. Good day, boys. Eldon. Eldon, I promise you, before my vacation's over with, I'll make a beautiful display for your parchment. And it'll say, Discovered by Eldon Flowers. Thanks. But I'm not down yet. Del Ditto didn't need a treasure map to become rich overnight. Neither do I. Lemonade! Ice cold lemonade! 25 cents, ice cold lemonade! <laughs> That's 11 straight wins for Jess in the skating challenge to benefit Mr. Graff. You know, at three bucks a rate, she's cleaning up. She must have rocket boosters on those skates. She's already beat three boys her own age. Exactly. We need an older, more athletic person who can teach her a lesson. Yeah, but who'd want to do that? If they got beat by her, they'd look like a fool. Lemonade! Ice cold lemonade! Does anyone want any lemonade? All right, you guys want some lemonade? Okay, 25 cents. Nah, don't give me that. Look, guys, this is a fundraiser. I've got to make some money. And so if you're even trying to... No, if you even think you're just gonna... You, but you better not tell anybody. Okay, ladies, we've brought out the big guns now. Scott hereby challenges Jesse to the speed skating championship of Elf. I do. Well, that's not fair. Jessie's all worn out. She's been racing all day. I'm not tired. You're right. It, it wouldn't be fair. Let's call it off. I said I'm not tired. Jessie Scott's way older than you. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Besides, I'm a buttercreamer, and I'm not going to back down from a boy. You're a buttercream at. And when I get done with him, you're next. Okay, Scott, you're on. They told you, didn't they? I told them not to tell anyone. These are not free samples. Go away. Go on. Go away. Go away. Go on. No. This is not going well. On your mark, get set, go!
Hey, Scott, how do you think we did on the races? Well, Marcus coming over right now with the money. I hope he did good, though, because I just got beat by an 11 year old. She's never going to let me forget it. Hi, Alden. Well, I'm finished. How'd you make out on the lemonade stand? Well, it depends on how you look at it. What's that supposed to mean? I lost seven dollars. What? How can that be good news? Well, I thought I lost eight. Some cash flow expert I turned out to be. I can't even make enough to learn how to make something for nothing. Told you not to invest in that dumb lemonade stand. You should have pulled together with me and Scott and done the races. Well, I guess I can't be as perfect as you guys. aren't supposed to be up here. Where's Elton going in such a bad mood? Are you guys teasing him again? Nope, just telling him the truth. You guys just don't get it, do you? Get what? Elton doesn't feel like he belongs. Elton's got to learn that we're a team, not just a group of individuals. I think he knows that. Do you? What did I say? Nothing. Do you guys have the money? Yeah, give it to him, Jesse. So, how'd we do? Well, as you know, Scott, Jesse did well. I told you she wouldn't let me forget. How much is it? $38.65. Wow. Hey, Scott, anytime you want a rematch, <laughs> just let me know. Come on, Jesse. You think we made these guys squirm enough for one day? Good night, Lanny. Good night, Scott. Bye, Margaret. Don't say a word. Now we'll be very quiet. Yes, sir. Be quiet. There might be somebody in there. Do you see anything? No, not here. Come on, I want to see. It's quiet, quiet. Don't no. you see? What do you see? What do you see? No. Come on. Quietly. Get out of the way. What to see? Come on, come on, come on! I'm stuck! Ah, you eat too much. Don't stand there, help me! I'm trying, I'm trying. Here, listen back. Like. What? Now, get them out of my eyes! Uh, oh, ew. rats they got. Come on, pull me out of here! Come on! Where are you? Boyfriend? Yeah, I guess so. 
Yuck, boys are totally gross. Why? They do such stupid things. Like what? Stop running! Stop running! Like that. Kiss me, you fool! Oh, stupid, don't get this thing off of my head! Are you guys okay? Yes. Jesse! It's mad! Hey, hey, hey! Why are you little? That's Maldivar's friend. I knew it. The other one's back there. No, 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 little girl. I'm right here. Hey, 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 hey! You! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait a minute! Let me go! Hey, where are you going? Let go! Come back! It's here! Where is she? Where is she? Where the? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? You! Give me that map! Ay, Jai, 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 Jai. My mama's gonna kill me. Oh. Well, you shouldn't be chasing little girls. It's not my fault. He made me do it. I certainly did not. You certainly did too. I did not. Stop it! You two should be ashamed for doing Amaldivar's dirty work. It's not our fault. You don't understand. Shut up! No! Our ancestors made a swear an oath to serve the Amaldivar family forever. We have to do what he says, like it or don't. Well, that's terrible. What will happen if you don't do what he says? I don't know. You know? I don't know. Well, why don't you try doing something good for a change? Something good? Something good? Yeah, try it. You might like it. Come on. But Eldon, they're gonna get away. I know. But I got a good feeling about those two. I hope he knows what he's doing. I guess we'll find out. Gee. Incredible. Wow. The news said it was work of professionals. Professional elephants. I wonder what he might have wanted an old layout of a farm plot for. Unless it wasn't just an old farming plot. Eldon. What are you talking about? Well, what if this is a real treasure map? Well, Dr. Maldivar said... But what if a Maldivar's a liar? Oh, why would he lie to us? For power, love, money, the usual motivation. All right, Eli. What if this is a real treasure map? And a Maldivar just wanted to keep all the treasure for himself? Please, Eldon. I've made a terrible mistake. Yeah. You sent your two buddies to rob us. You don't think that I would send them to do this? Yes. I take umbrage at the insinuation. Umbrage? Offense. An insult to one's character. An outrage to personal... We get the picture, Eli. Then those weren't your two men who broke in here last night. They were. You see, they deceived me as well. Right. I only speak the truth. What would they want with a worthless map? Have you the document Alden found? Yes. No thanks to you. Not a very trusting boy, are you, Eldon? Trust is something you earn. But I am here. And the two you ran into last night are not. If I were a thief, would I place myself in the hands of my accuser so easily? Besides, the police were more than satisfied with my story. And with the evidence. This has been in my family for generations. Yeah, like the two thugs? My father and grandfather did not know what this was. Nor did I. But when I started thinking about Eldon's map, I, I sent for this. May I see your part of the map? treasure map. In the city where I was born, I found the original military log of my ancestor's journey to America. He was a captain in command of 200 men. 
Only three of which returned to Spain, bringing back the map. And this. I've spent my entire life in pursuit of the rest of the treasure. I have searched every possible monastery and archive in Central and South America. Three years ago, I traveled north into your country. And now, with Eldon's discovery... But you said it was a farm... A farming plot. I was wrong. It was only after sending for this other farming plot that I began to make the connection. Then it is a treasure map? And you and Eldon each have half the map. What would your goons want with just half a map? Why wouldn't they have tried to steal yours, too? Perhaps they are not as clever as you are, Elton. Had they been, they might have noticed this. Look at the two of them together. There's another piece still missing. Exactly. This mountain! It looks like... Yes. A... Your nephew not only found the map, he found the mountain the map describes. I've been watching people search that mountain for treasure all my life. Do you think there really might be something there after all? It's crazy. How many people have their map? Two thirds of a map. A third piece of the map, that is the key. Whoever finds a third piece of the map will know exactly where the treasure is. And he will be wealthy beyond his wildest dreams. Gloves, flashlight, canteen. Did we forget anything? How about food? Well, I think we have that covered. Hey, guys, ready to move out? Move out where? To find the treasure. Oh, well, uh, we thought you girls might stay behind and make kind of a support camp while we went and combed the mountain. It could be dangerous. Yeah, dangerous to you if we find the treasure first. It's not that. Then what is it? Well, uh, Eli, you're the newest buttercreamer. You tell him. That's easy. I like girls. I think the equality of sexes is inevitable. <coughs> but of course it's a, well, sort of a tradition. Come on, Jesse. Let's go see who finds that treasure first. Hello, boys. Oh, boy. You guys are taking this treasure thing seriously, aren't you? I figure it's the shortest route to helping Mr. Graff, Mr. Duncan. How else are we going to save the house? Oh, did anybody uh, stop to think that no one knows where the third part of that map is? Well, no, there's no time for that. Well, if there's treasure up on that mountain, the buttercream gang will find it. Mm. Let's go, guys. Speaking of Mr. Graff, I just drove by his house. He's painting. Painting? He shouldn't be painting. Well, isn't he too sick for that? You know how he is. Well, the way I look at it, we can either help Mr. Graff paint his house, we can help him save it. Well, we could look for the gold tomorrow. And what if the girls find it first? Oh, yeah. Gee, that is a tough one. Well, the buttercreamers are supposed to help. Well, they are. I guess it's a matter of what's most important right now. I say find the treasure, save his house. I would, too. Maybe you can tell Mr. Graff we'll help him later. Right now, we got a mission. Let's go. Aren't you coming? It'd be great to find that gold, Elton. I always wanted to be a hero. Now's your chance. Why don't you boys come over and take a break? Mm. Mighty good of you to come over and help out. <laughs> I thought all the buttercreamers would be out looking for buried treasure. How did you know about that? Oh, I have my way of knowing about these things. <laughs> Especially when a group of buttercreamers come into the store to buy supplies. <laughs> Buying treats is one thing, but supplies is quite another. And you know about the treasure? Oh, who doesn't? Yeah, I've spent many a summer day looking for that lost treasure as a boy. Mr. Graff, we have a map. A map? 
Well, two-thirds of a map. Well, what happened to the other third? Well, uh, according to Dr. Maldivar, uh, it came from a monk's staff, and somebody cut it in three. Well, there's uh, something familiar about this mark here in this corner. It's just like the mark that's on the, the crates of honey that I get from the monastery. What monastery? The monks of Santa Inez, about ten miles up the canyon. Oh, you ought to show them that map. That's a great idea, Mr. Graff. Thanks. Come on, Eli. We'll ride over there right now. Or, uh, maybe after we're finished. Whether is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifieth. Excuse me, we're looking for someone in charge? And uh, who might you two young gentlemen be? Uh, I'm Eldon Flowers, and this is Eli. Well, Eldon and Eli, we don't usually receive visitors, so if you two will be so kind as to... We're looking for the map. And the treasure. Ah. The treasure. Well, in that case, come with me. So, oh, tell me of this uh, treasure hunt, Eldon. Why do you seek treasure? Well... I uh, suppose you've heard of the curse. A curse? In the 16th century, a monk of this order helped bury the gold. But in so doing, he dedicated it to God and cursed any man who might use it for evil purposes. Exactly. What kind of a curse are we talking about here? The most powerful of curses. A great many greedy men have died terrible deaths in search of this treasure. God protects its misuse and its location. But we're buttercreamers. Buttercreamers? It's a gang of us boys. And lately girls. And girls. Who go around and help the needy. Ah. And how does this hunting for treasure help the needy? You can do lots of good with lots of money. Hmm. And lots of bad. Come with me. I have something for you. We want to do good. See, we want to find the treasure so we can help save Mr. Graff's house. Treasure hunting can be tricky and dangerous. Even for buttercreamers? Especially for buttercreamers. Besides, if I can just do this one great thing, just once, I have to prove I'm a buttercreamer. A good one. So you think finding gold will prove your worth as a man? Eldon, did you ever hear the story of the cobbler? Peach cobbler? <laughs> no, I mean a cobbler who makes shoes. Oh, no, I haven't. Please, be seated. But once there was a cobbler who was a very good man. So good he was promised a treasure indeed. And that on a certain day, he would be visited by our Lord and Master. Wow. Mm. When that day arrived, our cobbler found himself in a great deal of turmoil, preparing for the visit of the Master. To his great distress, a widow needed help with her child. A beggar was faint from lack of food. And he was constantly being visited by others, seeking favors, and those in need of help. But our cobbler, being the good man that he was, 
could not turn away any of these persons in need. He was a buttercreamer. Yes, he was. Well, did he get to see the master? No. No? What a ripoff. And yes, you see, uh, that night, after the master had not come by, our cobbler started thinking that he had committed a terrible sin by not being there when the master was supposed to have arrived. So, that night, after uh, he had finished work and he was at prayer, he begged for forgiveness. That isn't right that he should feel bad. Why is that, Eli? Because he was helping others. That's right. And God told him in answer to his prayer that in having helped others, he had indeed seen the master. Do you understand, Eldon? Mm, yeah. I guess next time he's going to stay home when he's supposed to. Well, good things always come with time. Yeah, and you can't give up. I never intend to give up looking for this treasure. Eldon, I know that you'll find it too. As long as you remember one thing. Sometimes the greatest treasure you can ever find is within yourself. Sometimes you must take the higher path and look to the light for guidance. Thanks for dinner and the story. But we better get back to work. Please think about what I've told you, Eldon. I will. I will, Father. What was that all about? Didn't you get any of that? Sure I did. Then explain it to me. No. Why not? Because I'm older. So? Well, so respect your elders and quit bugging me. How do I do that? You keep your mouth shut. Do monks really wear these dresses? These monk fashion. Did you see something? You saw nothing. I thought I saw something. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. You did not see nothing. That is a double negative. It's not. It's too. It's not. It's too. It's not. It's too. They're here. Gotta get out of here and warn Father Marcus. We can't go out that way. Hello, brothers. Care for a crumpet? Oh, my. What do you mean, let go? It's a mummy. This mummy won't let go. See? Rip his arm off. You won't care. No. Maybe we weren't supposed to have. third piece of the map. I mean, we've got to get out of here. There's a couple guys that are after us. Hello, boys. I've been expecting you. Push 
should I say? We've been expecting him. So, after four centuries, the three pieces of the map are brought together. An educated guess would be that your name is Almodovar. Father, I have come. And I know why you've come. Your family's violent quest for this gold has been known to us since the beginning. How many Almodovars and their acquaintances have died in search of this treasure? I see in you that the intent is still the same. So you do not like me? I do not know you. Your family has a history of not being liked. And how would a worthless speck of a monk, living a meaningless life in a remote, forgotten monastery, know of the Amaldivar family? The members of our brotherhood have continually chronicled the events surrounding the curse. Today will be no different. I see by your actions you're an evil man. We do not fear evil. In the end, it will be frustrated and turned to nothing. That which you have found here will be turned against you and turned for the good. I know that. And I know your type. My family has dealt with you for centuries. I am through dealing. I have come to claim that which rightfully belongs to us. In the end, you have always won, but this time, it is I who have won. I have the map. And little else. What about us? I'm sure a friendly monk will come by this evening and set you free. We'll call the police. For what crime? You attempted to steal my part of the map. I simply detained you here for the proper authorities. Even then, you'd have to call the State Department, you see. I'm traveling under diplomatic passport. Buenos dias. <laughs> this is why we generally discourage outsiders. Hope they had better luck than we did. I'm beat. I'm just glad Scott and Lanny didn't find it either. They looked all run out to me. Are you sure they're here? I don't know. Mr. Duncan said they were. Looks like no one's here, though. Try the door. <laughs> Just needed a little help. Sorry we got you in this mess, Father. Mm. When will the other fathers be back? Brothers. Or brothers. Not until this weekend. The harvest was full this year and required many hands. I was lucky to be here at all. Or unlucky. Yeah. What we need is a miracle. Amen. Speaking of miracles, look! I knew I had a good feeling about those two. Alvin! Eli? Hey, you guys, where are you? What's in here? Hey, if you guys are in here, come on. The Morgans. How'd you guys get here? What is going on here? Long story. Don't just stand there. Help us out of these things. You guys came that close to finding the treasure. Me and Scott searched all day and got skunked. Yeah, we'd we'll all be rich. Mr. Gravistava's land, too. Don't take it so hard, Eldon. None of us thought that El Moldovar could be that mean. Tell that to Mr. Graf when he loses everything. Come on, Eldon. Let's pack up our stuff. Get our mind off this treasure thing. You told me that buttercreamers never give up. Eldon! You can't find a treasure without a map. A real map. But I've seen all three pieces of the map. I just gotta remember it. Uh-oh. What? What's the matter? Held's got a crazy idea. You're not gonna do something stupid, are you?
Hi, guys. Eldon. Look, Scott, I've got to go up there. That map you have could be totally wrong. You could get lost. I'll take my chances. Or hurt. Well, that could happen crossing the street. Injured for life. So? Killed. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. You can starve up in those mountains. Starve? No, no. I've made up my mind. Okay, well, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. We? Yeah, first, we stick together, we mark the trail as we go. That is, if you want us to help. Let's do it. We burn in daylight. No, these roads look pretty old. Maybe we should go upstream and find a bridge. No, there's no time for that. I've got to get up there. Who knows what might happen to those guys? I'm the heaviest. If it's gonna hold me, it's gonna hold anyone. Not a good time to try and be a hero, Elvin. Find a bridge upstream. Hey, Elvin! Careful! My boots hurt. I told you not to get those boots. And these bugs are eating me alive. I told you to use the spray. Yes, yes, you told me to use the right spray to get the right boots. Who are you anyway, Paul Bunyan? Fools! Come quick! Are you afraid of the curse? Then you go first.
Lucas, Catorce, Diaz, Ponce. I knew I should have paid better attention in Spanish class. Lucas, Luke, Luke 14, 10 and 11. But, but when thou sit down in the lowest room, come, saith a friend, go higher. For he that exalteth, exalteth himself, shall be, for he that humbles himself, shall be exalted. For whoso exalteth himself shall be abased. Well, Eldon, I'd say you're about to be abased, and I'm about to be exalted. You didn't read it all. You have to be humble. Something you know nothing about. Watch him. Elden, you have been searching for this treasure for a mere matter of days. I, on the other hand, have been searching for my entire life. You are about to see the reward one gets in life. A relentless obsession. said it was here. It has to be here. My entire life is gone. A whole lifetime. You. Me? You and that superstitious monk. <clears throat> Let me go. I think our debt is paid. It's true. See, you and I, my friend, we are free. Let the boy be and go. No hard feeling. No hard feeling. You want we should walk you down the mountain? Thanks. But I think I just want to be alone for a minute. Elden? Sometimes, Sometimes you must take the higher path. path. And look to the and light, light for guidance. guidance.
Careful, Eldon. We hate to have come so far to lose my treasure by being clumsy. Now put it back. All of it. Now help me carry this out. It's no use. I've already tried. It's too heavy. Look, let's take enough for Mr. Graf. We can come back later. Share the treasure. Nonsense. Forget Graf, this is mine. Get out of the way. Together. Forget the goal. No. It's gone. All lifetime gone. Sorry, Mr. Graff. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's okay, Eldon. Nobody said it'd be easy. Besides, you did what you could. It's not your fault. But I came so close. Close? You didn't come close, Eldon. You were always there when we needed you. Go ahead, help yourself. No, we'll pay for it this time. Huh? 20 bucks. Hey! I was told I could find you here. You're not still mad at me for losing the treasure, are you? No. You saved my life. Why did you do it? Well, you would have done the same for me. I would have let you fall. Then. Now, I don't know, but I have a pretty good idea. For Mr. Graf's house? Yeah. Well, you're quite a businessman, Elder. Me and Mr. Graf. <laughs> well, we can't let either of you two just disappear. You're a rare breed. Uh, that's quite a lot to pay for a cup of lemonade. Well, it's worth it. Best lemonade I've ever tasted. So, you uh, found your treasure, Eldon. This? Nah. This is for Mr. Graf. Me? I've always been rich.
It needs more lemon. That's nice. It does too. That's nice. It does too. That's how scaled up. He knows everything. 